Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is my family's old laptop. It's been sitting in the drawer for months unused, which is a shame considering how much of a good workhorse it was before it got replaced. In comparison to the new one, it sucks if I'm being honest, but today it gets one last shot at life before, well, being sold I guess. This Toshiba cost us £300 new, and today a random man at the local second hand shop told me he'd give me £30 for it. I couldn't let this old girl go for such a low price, so here we are. Originally a Windows 7 machine, this Toshiba C660 has been upgraded to Windows 8.1, but for some reason it's unactivated. My sister also spilt coffee on it the day after it was bought, which gives half the screen a strange dark tinge. I've hooked the native 1366x768 display up to my TV today for a better look, and with that it was time to check out the specs, something I don't think I've ever done. Jumping into control panel, and here we see it has a Celeron B815 dual core CPU and 4 gigs of DDR3. Other specs include a 500 gig hard drive and Intel HD graphics. I can already see how this is going to do. Just like it always has been, general usage is still perfectly fine with Google Chrome running perfectly on this old laptop and HD YouTube video streaming flawlessly. The experience was better in fact than I last remember, but you only have to look at this thing and the fan starts making one hell of a noise. This was especially apparent during the Cinebench R15 benchmark test. I was hoping to beat the previously tested Celeron G460 processor, which scored 77 points, and thankfully this just about pulled it off. Although, as you can see, it can't keep up with the likes of a Pentium E5400. Graphics wise, the integrated Intel HD graphics chip was rather humiliated by the Heaven benchmark, even at the lowest settings, and this made it clear about how this test would go. One funny thing I noticed was that even opening the camera app on Windows 8 proved quite strenuous, with the fans starting to race as I started shooting a short video. I cleaned all the dust out a couple of months ago too, as the last time it was used it overheated and shut itself off. Now we must test out its gaming capabilities, and I started with a quick attempt at emulation. I fired up EPSXE, ran my version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 at 720p, and to my surprise the gameplay stayed solid at close to 60fps. As an emulation machine this thing would probably do quite well in running most of those PlayStation 1 classics. But what about PC titles? Well you can forget about the likes of CSGO and similar because our old Toshiba here just about managed to hold steady in Morrowind. I can't blame it, it was never designed to do this, although I'll admit I've definitely seen worse. I wanted to give this thing a real chance at saying goodbye in style though, so I loaded up one of my favourites, Bioshock Infinite, to see if tweaking the graphics to a point where everything was near incomprehensible did the trick. 320x240 resolution allowed us to get it working, though it seems my unwillingness to listen to the laptop's screaming fans was the downfall of this whole test and the system quickly shut itself off to prevent any damage. After letting it cool for an hour, it was time to try again, this time focusing more on what the system can play as opposed to what it can't. Minecraft, with the fastest settings, ran a treat, with some of the advanced options reduced and the render distance set to 6 chunks. Dota 2 also ran ok with a few dips here and there, but nothing that put me off playing a whole match on this now increasingly loud laptop. I guess overall this thing has done me and my family quite proud over the last few years of ownership, and it was still able to deliver a reasonably usable experience despite its ageing specs, and it's always worth checking out the gaming performance of old hardware, despite what you may presume will be the outcome, as some games will run on just about anything, even this old thing. So, there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video guys, if you did leave a like on it, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.